Hey everybody, so today I'm going to talk to you about accessing the databases uh, through a different format than just Lone Star's databases. We're going to use something called Google Scholar. And so if you've never used Google Scholar before, it's amazing, but there are a few little quirks. And so we're going to uh, address those now. The first thing you want to do is you want to set up your Google Scholar so that it works for you. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on, I'm going to go to www.lonestar.edu. And then I'm going to go over to libraries. I'm going to click on research databases. This is very similar to just doing the research databases themselves, but you'll see the difference in just a moment. So depending on the speed of your internet, Here we go. So I'm going to go to, I'm, I just have to go into it just a little bit just to show you how to get to Google Scholar. So we go into literature. And then from here, we're going to click on literary, literary criticism articles. I'm just going to click on the first one because it really doesn't matter for the purposes of using Google Scholar. Just click on one of them. Now at this point, if you haven't yet logged in, it's going to, between this page and this, it's going to stop you and it's going to ask you for a 14-digit barcode. Now that 14-digit barcode can be found on the back of your Lone Star ID. If you have your Lone Star ID, just flip it over to the back and type in the 14-digit code. If you don't have your ID, you have two options. You can either call the library and ask them to provide it for you over the phone, or you can go to the library itself and go up to the second floor and get your ID there. It's free and it literally takes like three minutes to do. They'll print it out for you right then and there, take your picture, and you'll have your barcode for, from then on. So I am already set to go. So from there, I'm going to go over and I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to type in scholar.google.com and it looks like this. From here, I'm going to click on these three lines and I'm going to go to settings. And here, I'm going to go to library links. And yours will, will have this open world cat already selected. To access the worldwide sources, it already does that for you. To access the stuff that is not just free to use, but is actually uh, paid stuff that your membership at Lone Star pays for, your tuition pays for, uh, you need to access the Lone Star system libraries. So you're going to type in Lone Star, just like I did, and it should populate this one. Now it will be unchecked. You have to make sure that you have it checked so that both of these are checked. And now you will have access to all the free sources as well as all the stuff that is exclusive to Lone Star College. So you hit save and now you're good to go. So now I can start typing in whatever I want. So I'm gonna type in storm, okay? So I always put my searches in quotation marks. And the reason I do that is because uh, if I don't, it's going to search for any article that has the word the and any article that has the word storm. I don't want that. I want it to look specifically for the storm. So I'm going to click search and we'll see what happens. It has come up with one and a half million articles. Now this is great because it has a lot of different things that I can point to. So if you notice, a lot of these don't have anything to do with Kate Chopin. So I'm going to hit my plus sign and I'm going to type Chopin or Chopin, depending on, you know, what your English teacher said her name is pronounced as. And now we have 4,780 results, which is much more reasonable. Okay, so I'm going to go to 
the next page because none of those look like anything that I want. Um, okay, here's an article. So I'm going to click on this article. And we'll see what happens. So this may be an article. This may be the actual book itself. Nope, this is an article. So great. So let's say I really like this article. I can download the citation. I can do all sorts of stuff. I can hit Control F and look for keywords. All sorts of stuff. Okay. So let's say that that's not quite what I had in mind. Or let's say it is. I can click on this little star icon right here, and that will save it to my favorites, which I'll get to in just a minute. I can also click on Cited By. That didn't show up what I wanted to show. But I can star this. I can click on related articles. And now I'm just looking at specific articles related to something similar to what I just had. Now this is important. Here's an article. This is talking about some of the works of Kate Chopin. And I can, over here, if you see over here, if it's blank, that means that it's free source. It's open to anybody. But this one, specifically, is only open to Lone Star students. And I only have access to it because I changed my settings from the beginning. So instead of clicking over here, I just click on Full Text from Lone Star. Okay, now it's going to come up with this page, and it looks like an error message, but it's not an error message. So I'm going to find this article in full text from JSTOR. And because I have already signed in to the databases and I have not closed out these tabs, it should log me in automatically because according to these tabs, I'm already logged in. And here it is. So I can read the article. Looks like it's a few pages long. If I like this article, I can download the PDF to where I can do some quick searches with Control F. I can click on Cite This Item. And here's my MLA citation. All I have to do is copy and paste that, or just click on the little copy. All sorts of great stuff. So I'm going to close that out. And let's say I really liked that. So I'm going to save that. I believe it was this one. And now if I go up to my library, here's all the stuff that I starred. So as long as I'm logged in to Google, I have complete access to all these things. And that's it. One of the other great things about Google Scholar is that in some cases, now I haven't found any examples yet, um, but in some cases, it allows you to cite the source directly. And it doesn't seem to be letting me do that right now. but. Normally, it allows you to do that. So uh, it looks like I'm running out of time, but Google Scholar is a very useful tool. I'm sorry if this uh, didn't make it seem like it is, but it has an amazing amount of sources. But as you can see, the, uh, the actual research, research portion is going to take you some time. So that's it.